And I've just watched that bit of the broadcast. It is very harrowing viewing, it has to be said. Uh, what was happening, it was a normal breakfast TV program. It was going out at 6.45 local time live. Uh, you see the interviewer, uh, um, uh, Alison Parker, who just turned 24 years old, uh, she was interviewing a, a woman about tourism in the area. Suddenly, there are eight shots, very distinctive shots, uh, quite close. Uh, the camera falls over, there are screams. Uh, you see very briefly what appears to be a man with a gun, just a, a very brief glimpse of that individual. Uh, the camera remains on the ground and then they, at that point obviously they, they cut back to the studio. Now this, as I say, was breakfast television. It was going out live when this happened. The station manager of uh, that station has confirmed that both the cameraman and, as you say, uh, the reporter on the scene were both killed uh, in that shooting. Um, and there are police now on the scene. They say that the uh, individual who fired the shots is still at large. He is still on the loose. Uh, there is a manhunt underway at this moment. They have sealed off the perimeter of local schools. They are uh, asking people uh, to keep an eye out for this individual, but obviously not to tackle him and to try and stay indoors. Uh, so this is still playing out at the moment in that area, which is about four hours or so drive uh, from here in Washington, D.C. in Virginia. Mm, desperately sad. Um, it sounds like it might have been an opportunistic uh, sort of thing, Richard. I, I'm, I mean, obviously, this is the risk, isn't it, with live television? There's no way you can control what people around you are doing. That is, that is the problem. Of course, we don't really know uh, exactly what the motive for this shooting was. Uh, we don't know whether this individual had deliberately targeted them because they happened to be live on air or for other reasons. Uh, we simply don't know enough about the situation at the moment to be able to speculate on that. Uh, shooting deaths are not uncommon in the United States. There are something like, and these are the figures for 2013, 30 people killed by uh, gunshot fire, which weren't suicides every day. Uh, uh, of the year in 2013. So, you know, there were, there are certainly a lot of gunshot deaths in the United States and at this stage we simply don't know whether these two were deliberately targeted or whether uh, they happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time.